There goes Ronnie. Second low of the day. fungicide with the rogator today. It's perfect timing to apply our fungicide. Um, canola is in early flower. Um, it's not that full bright yellow yet. There's about 15 to 20 flowers on the main stem so it's perfect timing for that. It's a little bit windier than I'd like it to be out here but I gotta get this done. They're calling for thunder showers tonight and tomorrow. And with all the rain that's supposed to come, by the time I get back into here, my uh, timing window will be closed. So I want to get this done today. One thing you have to consider when doing an application like this is the risk and reward factor. So the product I'm spraying right now will help control sclerotinia, which is a disease found in canola, but it doesn't boost yields. It protects what's already there. So. I'm just maximizing the potential of this crop. But at the same time, I'm also driving on all these plants. So now I have a track through the whole field. So on corners, so on corners to help reduce losses, I want to drive in my track on the corner, slow down. Grab my next line, hit my auto steer, and let the machine do the work. Hit my cruise, there I go. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I think that's how the saying goes. So the risk and reward is I'm hoping this canola will have an increased yield from the chemical and that increased yield will offset the damage I'm doing by driving in the canola and the cost of the product. So it will pay off. We don't know until harvest time. People always ask me, what is it like farming in Saskatchewan? Well, it's always windy, and gophers eat your crop. They're not my favorite. Yeah, gophers, uh, they love canola, I guess. So, uh, if, there's, if there's gophers in your fields, they love chewing on it. It's like candy to them. So instead of making more tracks into the field and driving all the way to the approach, this is how I get out of the field. Go! Oh. 